Hello, my name is Philip DK, and uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today I will, uh, I will first of all settle on my uh, newly found piece of land here. I will uh, show you the process of how I have managed to find this particular seed in a little bit. At first, I just want to briefly talk about a few things, um, such as why I feel like making this series and what my plan is. Because uh, I feel like there is a gap in the market of YouTube guides for Minecraft. A lot of the time, I will... I mean, I, I consider myself like average to bad, at least. Probably in the low end of the average. But I will go look at the video. I'll determine that, hey, I want to build a farm, you know. I'll look at a couple more videos. By, by now, I'm convinced I'm going to build a farm. And by now, I've checked like three or four different guide videos for it. Now what then happens is I decide to go with the one that looked uh, the most convenient for my needs often and it is really like more often than not I will pick the most uh, mini miniature one because I, I don't need industrial amounts of anything honestly most of the time. Um, what I do need however is to have fun making something happen and I truly enjoy trying to be uh, conservative with my space, which is also why this series uh, evolves around me living on an island. Now, uh, there are two two things I have an issue with when it comes to uh, to YouTube video guides that a lot of people make. First of all, not including materialists. This is something I spoke to Dusty Dude from my own SMP server uh, about just the other day. Uh, because he noticed that he's not actually including them in his and he will probably start doing so. Um, second of all, people make great tutorials. There are some magical tutorials out there. And they just, you know, they really show how good they are the game by rushing through and creative, just building it. Like, boom, 10 minutes, massive farm, enjoy. But that doesn't really tell me anything when it comes to how long it takes this guy right here how long will it take this guy to build it i mean look at look at me i basically got two f left farms on both hands that's about it maybe the one it might even even be just one yeah definitely one it's two farms no other fingers that's not an easy life H how long is it going to take this guy to produce let's say an iron farm it's probably going to take a while. Unlike the uh, guide video where it took 10 minutes to build. Um, best example of this is I set up a uh, a farm on my SP server, a gold farm. Now I built that design three times by now on a couple of servers. So by now I am kind of getting faster. But the first time I watched uh, Rayworks design, he says it takes a couple of hours. Um, well, actually, I think he says an hour for it. And uh, just trying to replicate the disorder he used took an embarrassing, like, four hours for me. I'm not I'm not a restaurant genius. I, I can pretty much follow a guy, but sometimes I need to look, like, multiple times. So, th that that's the whole situation. Okay, I'm going to cut uh, to the process of how I pick the seed. So, you will... Uh, you will get to see that, and then I will go find some trees to chop down. And I'll uh, be back to talk to you in a little bit. When it comes to finding a seed in, a, in Minecraft, there are certain places you can go, like Junk Base, where you can get to look up biomes. And there's uh, also assistance for looking up stuff like slam chunks, uh, dungeons, villages, um, all, all the jazz, really. I prefer using a mist. And I do this because uh, you can pick the layers and you can kind of see most of these things in themselves. Um, however, not dungeons, but I kind of like the magic of randomly stumbling across a uh, spawner anyway. Out in the world, so that's okay. Now, for, uh, for this project, I want to find an island. And uh, I want a semi-large island and I'm just pressing Control r in this. You can also go to File and do a random seed. But as you can see the shortcut is control R. I'm doing that looking and I've, I've zoomed it in a lot. You can zoom way out and 
get upward of like 10,000 blocks in uh, some directions to see. Um, I am however looking for specifically a place where there's a decent sized island in the spawn chunk area. Uh, it doesn't have to be entirely within the spawn chunk, but at least like a corner of it needs to be within the spawn chunk because I don't want to be too far off and uh, also there's something very relaxing whenever you're out searching for things or exploring knowing that hey if I get lost zero zero is my way home um, yeah so I will be looking for a seed use this technique and I will uh, I will be back once I find one okay and here I have returned now with uh, with a seed it took um, I would say about 15 minutes of just every 10 ish seconds hidden control R. I did also spend a little time doing other things, but it was mainly just sitting here doing this. Now, what I know about this is it's a massive flower forest over on the right. That's going to serve us well if we want to decorate things. There's a, a tiger over here. There's some snow down here. I see ice spike right here. They're kind of rare. Well, that's nice. There's some tiger mountains, um, rather mountains, stone shore. There's a mushroom field up here. There's a swamp, but I don't see a witch hut in it. There's a village over west, and if we're lucky, it extends this way, so it might be pretty close to the water, which means getting villages is easy. But we have an island that is, uh, you know, from the top here, it's about minus 25, and to the south pole is about 440, so a little under 500 wa uh, tall, and then 135 to... Uh, about minus 200 ish uh, on the west coast so it's pretty large size we have some frozen ocean out here um, deep frozen ocean meaning we'll be able to get some ice now what i won't do is i won't zoom out any i'm not going to be looking at what else is around um i want at least a little bit of a surprise but i could imagine settling just west of spawn on the wooded hills area Get a little ground to the ocean and stuff um but you all will already know where exactly i'm settling in this because you will have seen already and um, this was just to go over the process and then briefly talk about why exactly i want an island it's a different style of play uh, because you're limited in the uh, in space you you need to be aware of uh, potential threats from the water you know drowned so you, you can't go all out. I mean, it's a large island, so we can definitely hide away from the ocean. But we'd say we were up on this one, we'd almost have to light the whole thing up and uh, have a house built like they wanted to if we were unlucky and there was, uh, there was drowned in the water. Because a trident drowned is going to be painful early on. Also, I live on an island that's about 100 kilometers wide in real life. Um, that might have something to do with why I really like islands. I, I don't honestly know. But I do like the whole limited space thing. Because it, it forces me to consistently think in efficiency. With my uh, uses of space. So I don't go and go. Oh I'm going to build a, a 200 by 200 castle. Because if I do that. That's like the majority of the central bit of the island. And finally. It is very different from what I have in my SMP world. Where we all kind of live around the coast of an ocean. Um, and uh, yeah, I I like uh, I like to mix it up. Okay, back to the gameplay. And I am back. I hope uh, it was informative the way that I pick a seed. Now I'm by no means saying that everybody should live on an island because that's just you know it's a complex of mine. I like islands, um, and also they're they're quite different than what I'm used to. I was just trying to zoom in on that hole over there, and obviously I can't. But I specifically decided that I'm not going to be using any mods, including uh, Optifine, Sodium, none of that on here. Uh, you will, however, if you go to my Twitch channel, you will see that I play with uh, a wide range of uh, different mods and enhancements. Uh, when I, uh, Well, not really enhancements, but at least mods when I play on my SMP server. Um, Minimaps, um, Shocklebox tooltips, stuff like that. I like using those things, but I wanted this one, this series to be uh, as accessible as possible. Now, I have found a tree here that I want to chop down. Conveniently located right next to some stone. 
and uh, being that we're on an island, as much as I want to settle on this west coast, like I uh, also mentioned in the uh, in the clip before, I do want to uh, get a bed. And uh, outside of hearing a chicken, there he is. I haven't really seen much here. Now, this is the thing. I I have not been playing the game for that long. Like I'm not one of these guys who've been playing since alpha or beta or whatever. I kind of started playing just before they introduced this uh, system where you can conveniently get stuff through the crafting bench and the, the recipe book. However, I never learned all the uh, all the crafting recipes by heart. I'm not saying that anybody needs to learn them by heart, but I know a lot of people definitely have learned them by heart. Oh, I shouldn't take that one because I don't want to have the gravel fall down here. Alright, I'm going to take there, just enough that we can make a stone pick and a stone um, axe. And this is another thing, I, I have this whole system in my head with how I want these things to always lay. Um, there's no particular reason behind it, it's just pretty much how, I, how I'm used to doing things. I, I used to play a lot of uh, World of Warcraft, I used to play a lot of... Uh, of action RPGs, I still do. I, pl I play way too much Path of Exile, in fact. Um, but yeah, I'm used to having certain abilities on certain buttons, and uh, I kind of like that having it in the same convenient location all the time. So it just becomes muscle memory and what to click. Okay, now what I'm what I want to do is I want to get a bed like I like I said before. So here we'll put the shovel here. That's again part of my uh, my own little system. Get a couple more stone, and then we will uh, we will get a furnace built so we have it with us. But I'm gonna make a boat, and then we'll uh, we'll head over west, slightly southwest, and we'll uh, look for that village. Oh, that's an egg. I like eggs. Now, um, later on in this series, I might be doing a, doing some streaming of uh, me making an episode on. Um, on t my Twitch channel, um, my idea is that this will be a project that happens every Sunday. I might expand if if this YouTube thing turns out that people actually care at all about watching this. I might uh, I might expand it to be a more of a a project. See, and this is this is part of my whole. I only know how to use the recipe book. I really don't remember how to place the planks for a boat, so I just go get my feet wet. There we go. Um, yeah, so this might become a, like a, f a thing where I expand to saying, okay, I'll make, I'll try and hit two videos for this a week. But for now, I just wanna, I just wanna gently ease into it and uh, make a video a week um, for this particular thing. I might uh, might put in like a gag reel. I might put in like a. Uh, a little summary of something that happened on the stream from my uh, Strangecraft SMP server. There will be no guarantees for any of this though. Um, it is primarily a matter of uh, of convenience for what feels nice. The main goal right now is just I want to have a bit of fun outside of my SMP server. And for the plans for today, we'll go with them in just a moment. Okay, well, I have made it on the land. It's about to get dark. I found a couple of sheep, but they're all in different colors. Now, um, I know I just need to keep heading west to reach that village. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, heading west isn't all that bad. Let's just see. I mean, I've been going a little south, so um, yeah, I need to go back out and uh, around. But um, yeah, there was uh, some sheep in here. Now, um, this whole f ordeal with me wanting to uh, to kind of do this is I want to do it slow and like 
you know you guys are along for a ride that's also why you guys got access uh, instantly to seeing the uh, the seed used oh, I don't want to get shot don't shoot me don't shoot me I'm just a, I'm just a poor boy trapped in fruit whoa ah excellent sheep we won't even need that village right now we'll just get some sheep now um, by having it so that you guys can follow along if you should be so inclined I feel like we uh, oh boy this is bad this is very bad please don't die Please don't die on the first day, DK. Oh, shuriken. I like shuriken. We get, we get a chance to kind of uh, interact on a different level because things will be going slow and uh, if, if you're not like one of those guys who uh, play the game a, a whole lot or have uh, like a hundred hours a day to play, it might actually be... Uh, be nice to just have some some uh, little video to watch whenever you do play. And heck, if you uh, if you've been looking to start, you know, a new uh, a new world, then uh, maybe uh, the seed might be uh, you know for you. And there we go. We may get bad. Plop it down. May not rest down monsters nearby. Oh no. How about that side? No. Okay. What if we uh, go in there? Uh -huh. Bamboozle the system. Excellent. Now, um, obviously it's still dark in here. Okay. We are heading out of here and now we will be uh, checking out the ship rig over here because that's a convenient place. Um, yeah, so the first episode. I just want to kind of get my feet wet. And so, you know, just, I was literally saying that as I was in the water, so I guess mission accomplished, right? Um, but no, I want to get my feet wet in the sense that uh, a couple things get done. That is uh, setting up a base of operations. It's, um, it's getting few little things in here um, done like I don't want to set up anything automatic on the first day we are not gonna be rushing the or automation game but we will be uh, be looking at getting some sort of food source I'm not gonna bother I don't think there's gonna be anything worthwhile in there I don't want all this jazz, I'm just going to live right here on the beach. Okay. Get a little bit of wood. We'll also need to eat soon-ish. Um, yeah. Oh, nice herd of cows. That's what we want right there. Mm -mm. Get in my belly. I'm a big fan of uh, murdering some, some cows for meat. That's, uh, they tend to drop some uh, some leather. I do like leather as well. And there are more cows over here. Excellent. We'll keep running now until we run out of uh, speed, which oh happens literally as I'm saying this. Then we'll uh, just eat a few of this, these mutton chops. Uh, raw try and see if we can make it to that village without any more hassle no the village should be way over on a plane in, a, in the plains uh, you guys saw it obviously in the generation um yeah oh hi B. I think that's the one thing that I do still have is I have a data pack uh, no not data pack a resource pack on um, yeah, I do, I know I do. Um, it doesn't change a whole lot. Actually, it's not on because this isn't done. Excellent, so it's not even on. Alright, I'm going to cut this here because I'm 
rambling. Okay, I have just found this little. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a cave. I think it's more of just one of those little under hill type deals. But there's a bit of, uh, of coal here, so I just want to. I'm not going to dig out all of it, I'm just taking a little bit because that way we can cook some of the meat in a, in a bit and then I'll be heading further north again to the village that uh, that we wanted to see off the west coast of uh, the spawn, yeah. So that's basically uh, all this is, this is just me uh, getting a little bit of coal. Oh, nice one. Iron, yes please. See, one of my, my first things that I always do is when I get some iron I, I need to uh I need to find a way to get a shield fast because I don't know, I'm I'm not a great player at this game. And uh I mean I don't want anybody who might consider themselves worse to feel offended at that but I mean, it's it's a fact. I don't speed run the game in some twenty minutes. I don't. Uh, I don't go around just automatically figuring out how to set up the best bombs for whatever I want to do. I don't uh, come up with my own uh, genius of science for everything. I just kind of enjoy the game, and I'm good at the one thing, which is spending a lot of time in the game without losing uh, interest. Which, uh, I mean, look look at my, uh, I don't know if uh, you guys have, but you can find me on Steam under the same username, and uh, I have some 8,000 plus hours in Path of Exile. I, uh, I used to have a character in uh, Diablo 3 way back in the day that had over 3,000 hours played, and then the seasons came and I finally deleted that character to start fresh at each season, because... Uh, yeah, there was not, not really much point at that, at that time to uh, resetting the same character just to keep your stats, honestly. That was a character that uh, before the Reaver Souls expansion hit Paragon 100. And uh, yeah, all in all, that is my favorite genre, most likely. That said, I do enjoy Minecraft quite a lot. The freedom and... Uh, the social aspects of, of Minecraft, honestly, because Minecraft is a very social game. Um, well, at least it can be if you play with people. Obviously, if you're on your own, you're um, doing a different kind of socializing. Because I mean, I've definitely had single player games where, while I'm playing, I'm talking to a friend who's also playing a single player Minecraft game and uh, kind of you know, chit chatting here and there about. Uh, what's happening, uh, shared goals for each of the games and stuff. Come back here, cow. You're not gonna live forever. There we go. You know what? I saw that, I'm just gonna dip. I I don't wanna talk to uh, no baby zombies. Oh, I see an iron golem. That means we get some iron. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so remember how I said I'm no speedrunner. Um, still true. Still very, very true. However, there's a trick that I've uh, picked up from these types that I find very handy. Which is killing these golems by pillaring up four blocks. And who doesn't like a little bit of free iron that's already cookerized? Mm, mm, mm. There we go, I acquire some hardware. Oh, I see more cows, we're just gonna mobilize those guys. I said, murderize those guys. Stand still. Stand still and let me murderize you. Okay, I should probably stop having that uh, every screen open all the same time. Um, yeah, and that's another thing. I do know that I will be swearing a little bit here and there. I hope, I hope you can live with that. Honestly, I don't want to be going through every segment I record 
to get rid of every last swear word um because it will happen and i find that if it happens naturally and uh, you're not deliberately trying to force them out there it's not a big deal yeah don't mind me boys i'm just here to steal your crops hey well what do you care you're not dude yeah you're not even the gardener okay like boss off however his presence does tell me one thing about this place one very important thing actually it tells me that they have a church or must have a church anyway because uh, I mean there's bound to be one of those brewing stands around this neighborhood right how else is he here how is he here must be down here yeah yep here we go Ta -ta -ta. Yoink. Thank you for your contribution to my course, guys. Right. Um, very inefficient eating all this meat, by the way. But that's, that's fine. We have crops, and that's pretty much what, what we'll be doing as the final bit of this video. Is that we'll get a tiny place to sleep. I'm not going to build a house, because, frankly, Minecraft to me is not about having a house. It's about having a bed somewhere. Where you can go, you can sleep, you can uh, you can do your thing. Is it like no? None of these houses has a chest or crafting bench in them. How very very rude. So yeah, um, I don't see a reason for all those things. Honestly, most of the time, like I I do build bases, I do build houses. Yeah 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 I do, and we will, but. Uh, I see so many of these here YouTubers who uh, start out and they're like, yeah, so we're just going to quickly build a starter house and boom, mansion. And, uh, like, it feels like they've, they've gotten so far uh, disconnected with uh, with where their viewer base is at. I mean, of course, obviously, some people will have watched these guys since the beginning. But they... The ones that keep growing, you've got to have to assume that some of those people coming in are also going to be new people, people who are new to the game. And while I certainly have played a bit of Minecraft, um, I am by no means a pro. There'll be no uh, me announcing that I'm a pro gamer. I might on stream, but that's uh, that's different. Uh, oh, there we joke a lot. To me, though. It's primarily just that it is very, very, uh, very fun to uh, to chill out in Minecraft. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back home now to the island, and then I will uh, I, w I will uh, do a couple of things that we need to do, such as getting ourselves a little bit for a crop field. Hi again, guys. Um, it's uh, it's DK, and yeah, I'm still not wearing any gear because uh, I mean, you guys shouldn't be cheated out of getting gear, right? So uh, that's our island right over there. There's uh, that tiny island right there, and there's this one right here, just off the coast of it. Well, I guess I mean I guess we can call that little bit of sand right there an island until uh, until we chop it down to get a window. Which this is a momentous moment in, in my life is getting a shield. Being able to just go whoa, 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 whenever uh, somebody's shooting at me or throwing tridents my way, that is uh, that is magical. Now remember how I said that we are doing this uh, slightly slower, slightly more relaxed. Part of that will be we will equip ourselves with a set of uh, leather gear. Sadly, we don't have the materials to get a uh, hat in the first go here, but. We're looking kind of spiffy in this. I like it. Also, not having the helmet on kind of makes uh, makes it possible to still see see my uh, my hair, which a Viking can be vain, right? Don't don't look at my hair. Um, yeah. So we need a furnace here, and then we gotta make um. We gotta cook up some of this meat. I'm gonna start with these two raw mutton because there's only two of them. And then we will uh, 
We'll probably just instantly set up a second furnace so we can get other stuff cooked as well. And look at that, there's just enough iron left over for a bucket. And uh, that's great, because we're about to start setting up a crop field. I'll just grab two of those, thank you. <laughs> get the mutton, that means we have something to eat. And then uh, there, yeah. Excellent. So we have a bucket. I like having those over in this area, and only one further left here. Because I'll have rockets at some point in my life. I'll plop down my bed right here and now here's a couple of things that I, that I want to do early on is I want to light up this island before it gets dark. I know we have a bed, we can totally go to sleep, but I want to be able to uh, to get that done. Also I have cut down quite a bit of birch on my way and throughout the world and uh, we're going to make a couple of chests for, out of that. And here, here's a the nice nifty thing that I, I personally like to do is I like to just uh, plop down my chests in like a little row uh, okay maybe not in a little row with shift held down there we go and there see now we have five chests that's actually a great size for a house right there so if this is one end we'll build a house around we'll go in under and put in a floor later it's all fine so while things are cooking up we can uh, eat Eat some mutton, and then we can start cutting down things here. I need another axe, quickly. But yeah, we're gonna use, utilize this tiny island for like, the bare minimum starter area. And that way, when we uh, when we start back up uh, next time, we will we'll get a house going. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna skip ahead till I've cut down all these trees and then uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll start setting up some crop fields. Whew! That was uh, that was a close call. It's uh, it's about to get dark. See the sun setting in the back here, and you see all these uh, trees, well leaves slowly decaying, and uh, it is getting dark. There's one thing that I want to do before it gets extremely dark, and it's not cut down these. But we did pick up a little bit of sugarcane earlier on. And I just like plotting it down here by the coast until we get something proper set up for it. Um, just because we can totally run around and, you know, manually go click, 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 click through. Smagarino it. And no problem whatsoever. And some of our food's getting done here. That's great. We'll put in the iron and we will go to bed because it's now night time. And then we will... We'll set up a little bit of a crop field over here. Now, I noticed this little thing. Oh, creeper voice. Okay, I might have uh, waited a little bit too long We go to bed. I noticed this little thing. I have like a perfect size. So, I will take out this. I will put in my bucket of water. Where did the other one go? Oh, he's down there. Uh-oh. I have been spotted. Melee. Please don't blow up my island. Please don't blow up my island. Please don't blow up my island. Please. Freaking creepy voice. I don't need to be probed. I don't want to be probed. Go away. Oh, I have gunpowder. Four pieces out. That was a pretty good yield of gunpowder, honestly. For a non-enchanted sword. Yeah. Okay, I need a hull. Um... Yes, I need a hole. Do I not have enough stone to make one? No, okay, I'll just make a wooden one. That's fine too. And then we really need to uh, get work on getting a bit of stone. But first, like I said, crops. Actually, let's see if we can get lucky. No chicken. Never lucky. I'll move this up here and this. I don't care about growing the beetroot. I would have loved a... Uh, I would have loved a pumpkin or melon seed, but we didn't get there, so that's okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, there we go. One, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two. Oh, no. Oh, good thing we can fix it with the sheer mass of our body. 
There we go. And we had a tiny bit of dirt on us, which we will now utilize like this to, uh, to expand this area. Now, we can totally make a bigger area. Totally, totally. This is just to get up and uh, going. I'm just going to put these carrots in a bit of a pattern, just so that we get a bit of a variety in what we're looking at. And uh, since we only have eight potatoes, we'll just put them on the insides here, and then we'll, the rest of it we'll put a little bit of... Uh... Oof, no something on my leg. <laughs> and we'll put a little bit of uh, wheat to grow. Today we already have them on the bar, so we'll put a few wheat seeds out here, and it'll become a seedy place apparently. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and uh, now, as you can tell, uh, things are about to uh, all be done falling here. Okay, now, uh, like I said, I'm not an automation guy. It's not about doing things the most efficient way. Um, for those who have seen my Twitch channel already, you'll know that um, one of my current projects on my SMP server involves me manually digging an organic hole. And I call it an organic hole because somebody else is also making a perimeter. In fact, Dossy Dude is making a perimeter. He is uh, TNT duping his way to one. And uh, therefore, I am manually, well, not therefore, I, I had to plan to make one even before he started uh, work on his. Um, but yeah, I am uh, digging a perimeter, 17 by 17 chunks, in fact, um, the odd number comes from the fact that the dead center of it, the main chunk, central chunk, is uh, one that contains a witch farm, or a witch hot that I have made into a witch farm. Okay, so, uh, from the land of crops, I will... Uh, I will be back and um, there is a, there's a whole list of things that I want to do in this world um, slowly and steadily. I will uh, I will be ending here with the words that I do try and stream on Twitch almost every day around 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time. I would love for you to come hang out with me. However, it will not be this uh, world that we'll be uh, streaming on there. Um, at least not for now. I might some some of the days I might go on here to do to uh, do stuff, but it would require recording, and I need to get a little more familiar with how I how exactly I finesse for both uh, streaming and recording at the same time. It might might be uh, something we can do for like a time lapse, right? So um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video, and uh, hope that you uh, take the time to. Uh, hit the subscribe button down there i would uh i really appreciate just tapping the subscriber on you on youtube and uh i would love for you guys to drop by twitch okay uh, thank you for watching and good bye